In today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 8. Speak on Forgiveness Friend, can you talk about forgiveness? What Whatever you feel inspired to share on that topic would be wonderful. David Yes, it is a topic that is the central teaching of A Course in Miracles. To forgive is to release the ego. The world's view of forgiveness is to forgive what happened. The Course teaches that you forgive your brother for what he did not do. This is quite a radical dive into the true experience of forgiveness. In the workbook of A Course in Miracles, Jesus says, The major difficulty that you find in genuine forgiveness on your part is that you still believe you must forgive the truth and not illusions. Workbook Lesson 134 At first, when you read it, you wonder what he is talking about. He is saying that the thoughts, the beliefs and the perceptions that you seem to see and hear and feel and touch every day are part of this hallucination that in truth has not occurred. The biggest frustration that people feel with forgiveness is that they say or feel things like So-and-so was cussing and shouting. They did steal the money. They did murder the person. Now what are we supposed to do? Bless them as if they are white as lilies and pure as snow when they did it. In some cases there is proof. I've got the evidence on videotape. What do you mean they did not do it? It is recorded, preserved for posterity. But in truth, it did not occur. It is only this belief in linear time that seems to string together these persons, places, things and events that makes it seem as if you have a real movie going on when actually it is just a bunch of shadows dancing on the screen that has no reality whatsoever. The first step in forgiveness is to be attentive to your feelings. Your feelings are inroads to your thoughts and your thoughts are inroads to the beliefs. It is important to be attentive to all of these because in the end you have to empty your mind of everything you think you think and think you know as well as all of those beliefs that are underneath the thoughts. Simply do this. Be still and lay aside all thoughts of what you are and what God is. All concepts you have learned about the world. All images you hold about yourself. Empty your mind of everything it thinks is either true or false or good or bad, of every thought it judges worthy, 
and all the ideas of which it is ashamed. Hold on to nothing. Do not bring with you one thought the past has taught, nor one belief you ever learned before from anything. Forget this world. Forget this course and come with wholly empty hands unto your God. Workbook Lesson 189 That passage ends with coming to God with open arms. It is an invitation into divine silence in which you rest in the present moment and let go of the past, future collage of images. Just sink into the light within your mind. Forgiveness, as Jesus really intended it, is the releasing of illusions. It is important to distinguish true forgiveness from a sense of false forgiveness which says, this really happened, now how am I going to deal with it? Once you have established the reality of error, the reality of images, you are stuck trying to figure out how you are going to dispel reality. This is an impossible thing. Learn to recognize that this world is an impossible situation. Without judging it or trying to analyze, fix or figure it out, rest deep within and watch it. See it for what it is. You can see the false as false and then let it go. That is a summary of forgiveness.